Hello there, thanks for joining us here for another video from Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard and we've got another grand piano regulating video that we're going to be showing you here today. Um, this uh, step in the regulation process is uh, adjusting the uh, position, uh, the, f the f front or back position of the jack. Okay, and um, so uh, we showed in the last video um, the uh, the height of that rep of that jack and the repetition lever, uh, but today we're going to be showing you how to adjust again the forward or back uh, position of that jack. Okay, so um, here we've got a grand piano action model. Now this is a one note uh, model of a grand piano action, and um, this piece right. This piece right here is the jack, okay, and um, uh, we're going to be showing you how to adjust that so that it's not too far forward or too far back. If it's um, and the way that you adjust that, there's a regulating screw right here, okay, and I can even show you a close up here of another one. It's got this regulating screw, regulating button here, and uh, as we turn that screw, it's going to adjust. The position of that of that uh, jack. Okay, if it's it can be further forward or it can be further back, just depending on how you adjust that. Okay, now the the way that you want to check it is um, the jack needs to be in a position so that when the key is at rest, the back edge of this jack is in a in a direct line with the back edge. Of the knuckle core. Okay, so this right here is the knuckle. Okay, again, uh, you can't see the knuckle on this one because there's no shank. The knuckle is part of the the hammer shank. Okay, but here we've got. Um, you want again? You want to make it so that the back edge. Okay, the, so this. Let me show you the close up here. The back edge. So this this edge right here. Okay, is in a straight line. Uh, or at least the top, if I show, the, show you the top of the jack, the back of this jack should line up with the back edge of this knuckle core. Okay, as you can see a close-up of this knuckle, um, you've got an outside layer of leather and then there's some felt, which is the white part, and then there's a wood core, and the wood core goes up into the shank. Okay, so it's that back edge or if you're looking straight on it, it's going to be the left edge of the um, of that knuckle core. Okay, so if I push down on this repetition lever, okay, so you can see, at least the way that I'm looking at it, the, it looks like the back edge of this jack is just a little bit too far toward the back or toward the hammer. Okay, and so we want to turn it so that this um, screw this regulating screw and when you're doing it from a with a with an action you're going to have to go in here between the um, these let off uh, let off screws or re let off regulating buttons and go in between so you can reach in with and I, here I'm using a grand drop screw like regulator which is usually the the kind of screws that um, that that particular um, regulating button has or regulating screws has it's a spade head screw and so it's got a recess inside the in inside the end of it which fits over the regulating screw okay so I'm going to put my uh, regulating screwdriver or my grand drop screw regula uh, regulator here in between those regulating buttons so I can put it on the end of that sc regulating screw and if I turn it um, clockwise that's going to push the um, button further toward the back and it's going to make the jack go toward the front okay or toward the front the key or the front of the key okay so if, since i've determined that the position of this of this jack is a little bit too far back i'm going to turn it clockwise just to make that go a little bit further it didn't doesn't take much Okay, so if we look at it, I'll go just a little bit further. 
Again, it's an easy adjustment to make, so if you go too far with it, you can always back it off. But Okay, right about there. That that looks about right, at least from where I'm standing. Um, and, uh, and of course, if it's too far forward, then you want to turn it counterclockwise to make the... Um, the jack go further further back so that it's lined up again with the head and back of that knuckle core um, and you can do it so that um, you know what usually when I do it I'll lift all the hammer shanks up and then just push and then, then just put um, you know so that they're all raised up all the way uh, at least for a section at least for where I'm working and then I'll put down the shank that I'm working on and push down and I can usually look from the side to see if that's lined up uh, with you know and then I'll go through and make the adjustment on that one and then go from one to the next to uh, make the, uh, the adjustment um, so again it's fairly simple um, like anything with piano regulating it takes some time because you got to do it 88 times but uh, it makes a big difference um, now the reason we do that is that um, it gives more efficiency or energy if it's if it's too far back then uh, then again it's not going to be working correctly and if it's too far forward um, there's a chance that it may not reset correctly so uh, those are uh, those are the things you want to um, this is just one of those steps that you want to uh, make sure you're uh, doing as part of the grand piano regulation process um, so if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and uh, if you want to visit our website, it's howardpianoindustries.com.